Felicia Wright from Ashland. My daughter moved to Seattle in 2012 after my mom passed away and I needed something to kind of get me out of my funk. I started in watercolor and then I switched over to acrylics and then I'll kind of do a little bit of both. Oh, I do mixed media sometimes too. And within the last year, I started doing the fluid art that you see around. I like that the most, I think. My husband likes the other things that I do, the trees, and I love painting trees. I think everybody's life experience makes you see something different. Uh, I did this one for my husband's, in memory of my husband's mom. And it kind of looks like a female raising her arms up. But I started my acrylics through tutorials on YouTube. But the fluid art is it's fun and you never know what you're going to get when you do it. I have to do my fluid art on a level surface. And before I pour the paint down, I have to have my negative space already done. Like the white or the black or whatever I want in the background. I use like a solo cup. You no, know, what is that, 16 ounce solo cup? Usually what I do is uh, have my painting like this and then flip it together as one. And when you raise up, there will be a kind of a suction, so you have to squeeze a little bit. And then you can drag it in shapes. Like I, how I did the swirl on the ocean ones. And sometimes you don't, if you don't want a swirl like the black and white one up there, you just put it in the center and raise up and you tilt the painting around to get the paint to move where you want it to go. But I had to tilt this a lot to get it to go down and do that. And then I did a lot of uh, blowing with the straw to get the lacing. And I added, uh, after I, I drug this, I flip cut and drug this up. And then I added the yellow in and swiped up with the acetate to give it that cell effect, the bubbles in there. And you can see how even though I put the metallic paint in there, it wanted to stay hidden. Sometimes you get a little bit that bubbled through, but not much. I should have poured the thicker paint at first. That way when I poured out of my cup, it would have came out last on top. Um, depends on how you layer your paint and the thickness and thinness of it depends on what will come through and what won't. And you can like, if you want your own colors, you can tell me what colors you'd like to have in it. And I can't guarantee what it will look like, but I can put the colors in there. That's the thing about fluid art. It kind of has a mind of its own. You can take the exact same colors and pour with it and it'll look totally different. Well, I poured on this one first, and you can see I kind of made lines. And on this one, I just flipped all the paint over and just let it spill over and kind of tilted it. But they look totally different, and it's the same exact paint, same cup. I think the biggest thing is uh, you have to let go of what you think others are going to think about you and just... Do it for the enjoyment. Don't do it to try to sell paintings or anything like that. Just do it because you like to do it. I think that when you're emotionally invested in your art, that that speaks for itself. You don't have to try to explain it to anybody. Uh, all of the pieces that I have sold are all pieces that meant something to me. And not something that I was just trying to get through to, you know, fill a booth or make a sale. So which is your favorite?